All right, boys and girls, got another little uh, tool review. Bought this one off of Amazon Mid Midbro. I guess it's the brand name here. It's one of the cheapest circle cutters I could find because I only got to cut three holes and I had to cut them in metal. And this is also one of the cheapest that had the little package actually saying it would cut through metal. It cuts from one to six inches. It should be used in a drill press, not a drill, from what they're saying there. And it does have the tool, the key, it's just falling off in there. Nice little instructions, definitely made in China. Um, but we're going to check it up in our old trusty drill press over here. But first we got to remove the tube notcher. And then we will be able to put this in there and make some holes. So let's get to work. Okay, so the first question I guarantee you people are going to ask, how do you set it up? Alright, so first you need to measure your circle that you're going to cut. In this case, mine is 3 and 5 sixteenths. So half a 3 inch is 1 and a half inches, right? So what I did, just easy, simple math. Put it on 2 because that's an easy number to start from. Go out an inch and a half. And then half of 5 30 seconds is 5, five sixteenths is 5 30 seconds. So from the half, I counted over 5 ticks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. And the center of the point should land in the center of the 2. And the center of the point should be at the mark out here. There we go. Now, obviously, we loosen this bolt right here to move it along the, the line here, tighten the bolt to tighten it down, and you test a piece. Don't just go and cut the piece that you're going to use and cut a hole in there and find out, oh my god, it's too big. This is going to be fine-tuning stuff you're going to have to go back to. Anyways, let's see how good a job I did, because I probably screwed up. So, let's go over and cut it. Not too bad. One thing I'd probably do a little different is instead of trying to cut all the way through from the one side, I'd probably stop next time and cut a little relief on the back side. And that should make the hole a little more less tapered because it cuts out kind of a the way the cutter is set up, it cuts out of taper a little bit. And that little bend there is because I didn't cut all the way through right there and I just yanked it off but works out pretty well a little scary and terrifying when you use that thing that thing's flying around there and uh, definitely should probably have it strapped down instead of holding it like hand like I was doing but you do what you do you know anyways boys and girls it works pretty well I think it was a like I say it was the cheapest metal cutting one that I could find and it should do the job for you so don't forget to like and subscribe Share the videos, and I will see you later. Get out there and get our garages cleaned up because this place is a mess, and let's get our projects going. See you all later.